Hi guys, it's Dr. Linda Kramer. Today's the 10-4 day. Okay, 10-4, rubber duck. It's the 10th of April, which means it's Sunday, which means today is Tarot Day. Oh, righty. I was just on the phone to a friend and I looked to the sky and I said, what's your message for today? And she said, my lady said, good news. So we must remember that with the cards that I've just pulled because some people are going to see these cards and go oh my gosh what's coming <clears throat> so let's get into it I asked her all the time because this is not about me and what I say is the message it's what she decides she's in charge I'm just the telecommunication device telling you her messages right so the first thing she said was go to the lovely cards by Louise Benton. Here is her website if you do want to go over and buy a pack of her cards. The link is in the description. Okay, <clears throat> so Louise Benton's cards first and it is this one that I pulled. Look at the artistic drawings that Louise puts on these cards. Aren't they gorgeous? And it's called Ocean dreaming so I'll just pause it there if you want to pause the screen and read it yourself okay ocean dreaming let's get into this today okay guys my spirit hears the call of the sea stirring the waters inside of me hold me to your swirling tides show me where my heart resides healing soothing deep soul yearning through your mystic depths I glide. Creatures of the sea and ancient kin beckon me deeper and deeper in. I hear the sacred incantations echoing through throughout the generations. Divide, diving through luminous ocean caves embraced by gentle moonlit waves holding the vision of Gaia's dream cleansing and transmuting all that has been that's important by the way for what's coming in the other card together we can play our part to awaken Gaia's crystal heart activating the transformation and guiding the human spirit to its salvation I hold the vision of Gaia's dream now that we know the words look Look at this solitary figure in the waters of the universe and how she's holding up. <clears throat> Remember, whenever we go up, that's hope. Whenever we go down, it's negative. She's holding up. What do you interpret the, that orb as? Is it just an orb? Is it your life? Is it the universe? Or is it Earth that she's holding up here? Okay, so let's just break down some of these words. My spirit hears the call of the sea. That means that we're waking up. <clears throat> there are people now who are waking up and thinking critically. Google what does critical thinking mean. We're starting to analyze. We're starting to work it out. All the lies and the deceit of the last four years hasn't been two guys. It's been four. Okay. Five, she's telling me so this goes back to 2017 <clears throat> is when it got really in play that was what she just said so I'm repeating it's been in play since 2017 all those lies and the deceit are now starting to crumble people are waking up to the truth of what is really going on and it's then that we look at the material world and we look within us and this is what a lot of spiritual people are now doing. We look within us and we say, who am I in this materialistic world? What is my goal? What is my function? What is my plans? So we're not listening now to others and what they're telling us. We're now taking that control of our own actions and our own lives. And we're going within, which is into the waters of the universe. And we're starting to work it out. Okay. 
hold me in your swirling tides. Well, to me, that represents, I trust that you are guiding me. You're holding me. You're giving me that comfort, that support. Show me where my heart resides. So now we're going back to our true guts. We're going out there and we're looking within and saying, who am I really? Okay. True colors are coming out in people. Okay. Creatures of the sea and ancient kin beckon me deeper and deeper within. So this is where we're getting beckoned. It's like a magnetic pull. Or we just feel inclined to go somewhere. Somewhere new. Some new hobby. Some new interest. We're thinking about changing our jobs. We're thinking about what else can I possibly do to be the best version of who I am. That is what I'm seeing for this week all over the planet where people are working themselves out. Okay, diving through a luminous, luminate, luminous ocean caves. So cage, o- open ocean caves. This is exploring new things, going into those deep, dark crevices within our own psyche and working out why we do things. Why do we have specific behaviors? Why have we got different personalities? What are your interests? What are your goals? What are you passionate about? Okay. Cleansing and transmuting all that has been. Now the line above that says holding the vision of Gaia's dream. So what is the dream of Gaia? Now if you know what Gaia is, it's the universe. It is the eternal source. Okay. That's what some people call it. So what is their dream? You know, you look at the angels. What's the goal? What's the purpose? What is their dream when they get up in the morning? Well, I don't think angels get up in the morning, do they? No. But imagine that they get up in the morning. They say, the first thing I want to accomplish today is think about what the angels would be doing right now. Wow. Put yourself into their shoes. What can we do to be like them here on earth? Now, we can't go out and spread our wings and let people see us, but we can go out there and be more generous, more kind, more loving, more understanding, more forgiving. Correct? Okay? Together, we can play our part. So we don't have to do this singularly. We're not just one in that ocean of the world. Even though I'm in Australia, I've got friends in Europe, I've got friends in America, I've got friends in um, Asia. Even though I've never met them, I've never seen them, I've never physically hugged them. I can energetically hug them every day. I can communicate my thoughts to them and to allow them to just feel that peace of the love that I feel for everyone on the planet. Okay, so together we can play our part doesn't mean we're in the same location because that is just geography okay to awaken Gaia's crystal heart so this is now the beginning I I just wish that you guys could see what I know about what I got told in 2001 when I died she said from 2017 to 2027 is going to be a witch with a capital B but after that time is a global peace that will occur. We're we're transmuting, we're evolving into these beings that no longer have the H word, A-T-E. We don't have the accusations, we're not judging people and we're not pretentious and we're certainly not egotistical and we're not about who's better than the other, like tall poppy syndromes, okay? We don't accuse, we don't blame others for what our life is turned into. We take accountability of ourselves and we're looking at who we are, what we created and what we're going to create in our future. Okay, activating the transformation. How do we activate? How do we activate ourselves? It's when we say to ourselves, I am. I am the best version of myself. I am a loving, kind, understanding, forgiving, supportive friend. I am doing my part to make the world a better place. We, we activate it. We activate it. And we say, you know what? No more just sitting around thinking about it. I'm going to put this into action. 
Okay? Look at my eyes. They're starting to water, guys. Oh, my God. The energy is... Woo! Again! <coughs> and it's only 8 a.m. for me. And look at my energy. I've woken up in this big bubble. Oh, isn't it funny how she's holding a bubble? Oh, my gosh. Woo! I love doing my tarot on a Sunday morning. Okay. And guiding the human spirit to its salvation. So this is where... We're guiding others to wake up also. All those people that you see out there accusing, judging, blaming. You don't repeat their behaviors back at them. We don't mirror their actions. What we do is give them that kindness, give them that love, give them that understanding and perspective. So then they see our actions and they think, what's she about? Because they can't work it out initially because they're still in that negativity. But the more love and the more understanding we give them and the more hope, the more pride we allow them to have, then they get out of that rut and they start to waken up also. So this thing spreads through the ocean of the planet. Oh my God, what a great card to start with. Thank you so much for this one today. I hold the vision of Gaia's dream. So we are holding it, guys. It's in our hand and it's upwards. We've got this opportunity this week. Little acts of kindness. It doesn't have to be going out and paying off someone's mortgage who's broke. It doesn't mean we have to go and give money to a struggling business. It doesn't mean that we have to go and give all this financial aid or whatever to health systems. It just simply means small acts of kindness smiling, being nice, not being sarcastic or accus um, accusing. The big word is why. Don't use the word why. Why do they do that for? That's accusing them because we have this expectation of what we would like to do. So why did that guy run the red? I wouldn't do that. Don't ask why people are doing give them compassion instead oh geez i hope he hasn't got a medical emergency and that's why he ran the red i hope his day goes well see how you turn it into a positive simple things like that so we're creating this energy all over the world right so that's the first card of four the second card i got you guys are so funny doing this to me Little, little, sweepy, little, my little lovey-dovey card. I just said a word out of it. The little lovey card. Love would take out the trash and sweep floors. Love would take out the trash and sweep floors. So what does this mean? It's looking within and sorting out all the stuff inside of us that's trash Get rid of all that C-R-A-P that we're hanging on to, that weight on our shoulders, all that stress, all those grudges, issues, blaming others for what we've put ourselves into. So love will take out the trash and sweep floors. So what does the sweeping represent? Witches use a broom a lot. Think about it. Why do they sweep out all the time? Because it's getting rid of all that energy that we don't want in our lives anymore. Okay? So this is our week to really look within us and say, who the heck am I? What am I doing to make not just my life better, but the lives of everybody else around me? How can I be nice to my neighbor? How can I be nice to that stranger who just ran that red light? How can I be nice to that poor lady walking down the street wearing her MASK? Because she's still believing all the lies and the deceit of the last four or five. She interrupted me then. As soon as I said four, she went, ah, five. Five years of lies and deceit. So this is where, guys, small acts of kindness are coming in. Oh, my God. So now we go over to my tarot card, and it's a doozy. You ready? I got the 12th 
card in the major encarta, and it is the hanged man. So let's go over to the book and work out what this one means. Oh, my energy is so high. Wait until you get to my ruin stone. Ooh, okay. The hangman. It says, <clears throat> life may seem to be in a period of suspension, but this offers the opportunity to look at matters from a different and fresh perspective which will bring a possible solution through better understanding. Look within, guys. Look within, as I've just been talking about. This card can indicate self-sacrifice. Is it a sacrifice when we want to give up our jealousies? Is it a sacrifice when we want to give up our bad behaviours? Is it a sacrifice when we want to change something and let go of something else? Of course it's sacrificing. And I am the first to admit here, I personally sacrifice all my negativity to allow new positive energy to enter within me. Oh, this is a powerful spread this week, guys. I tell you, this card indicates self-sacrifice. Sometimes we need to let go of something in the shorter term to gain something considered far more beneficial in the long term. Please consider those words this week. It is sometimes we need to let go of something in the short term to gain some, um, to consider something far more beneficial in the longer term. It can represent delayed gratification. So if you're waiting on that reward or a ward, if you're waiting on that praise, get it out of your head because that's your ego. Don't expect the outcomes. Just allow, oh my God, just allow things to unfold with no judgment, no accusations. And that's when we find this inner peace. And it's also so positive coming into us okay so even delayed gratification which is also a form of self-sacrifice the hanging man card despite its appearance is not to be feared because we must remember the figure is in a voluntary position he put himself into this so this is where we look at our own lives this week, guys. And we don't hold on to the past, but we identify the past situations that we've put ourselves into. And don't blame yourself because that's how we get depressed, okay? We don't blame, oh man, I wish I'd taken that opportunity four years ago. My life would be so much better now. Because that's how we get regrets, okay? That's how we get grudges. So don't do that. But we look at the opportunity of where we are now. Because if you look at the card, he's still breathing. He's still alive. Which means he's got tomorrow to make this world a better place. And the week cards this week shows that the place is going to get better. Okay? The world is now turning into a more loving, kind and generous place. Okay? The lies and the deceit is falling apart because love is taking out the trash. Oh my God, I love it how all these cards come together. So let's move forward. We've still got one to go through and it's this little one that just looks like an eye or a number one figure. So I found him in my book. I've already got the book open. Hang on, I've just got to find him again. Where did he go? Oh, okay, here he is. Here he is. It's this one here. So let me just position it so you know that I'm reading from the right one. Here he is. It's this one here. Okay. Let's have a look at him. It's this one here. It's called Esau. And it is ice. Not like MC Hammer. Ice, ice baby. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it is the ice car, um, ruin. The ruin of coldness or freezing. Stoppage of some activity. Often associated with delays, both temporary and long-term, 
or a cooling in a relationship. Now, this is what's happening, guys, because look at the hangman. See how he's now in this position where he's thinking about his past, thinking that didn't work out so great for me, did it? And now he's this hanging upside down, thinking, how am I going to make this better when I get out of this rut, when I get out of this situation? Who do I want to be? So we self-analyze ourselves and we say, this is now getting better, okay? If you listen to those words of that song, things are only going to get better, can only get better. Oh, sorry, I'm in a mood of singing now. My God, my energy's high. So let's read the three point dots here. Okay, first dot point for the ice ruin. Okay, may indicate a freeze or delay of some kind or an impending cooling in a relationship. The freeze, second dot point, sorry. The freeze may be self-imposed or a creation of circumstances or others. And that's where we look at ourselves and say, what have I done to create this? Okay. The last dot point says, if part of a negative card spread, may be a significant, it may be a signal not to salvage the situation, but to simply move on. And that's what these are all saying today. Don't get stuck in the past. Move forward. Take out your trash. And analyze yourselves, guys. And ultimately think about what's in this bubble, what's in this world, what's in this orb that she is holding up to the sky to release. This is an awesome week for us, guys. We're taking back our power. And that's the word for the day that I get from all these... Thank you for putting that in my head. Power, strength, humility, and love. It's coming. So embrace it within yourself. All you got to do is look into the mirror and you say to yourself, you know what? I am this. I am this person. I am this strength. I am this part of a unity. Even though and I don't know where they are because they're all over the planet. But I have this tribe who I am part of. And I am moving forward like the tides of the ocean. Oh my God, I love it when all the cards come together. Okay, guys. Wow. Please remember, this is our week to self-analyze, to work it out, get rid of what we don't want in our lives, contemplate where we want to be in our future. Because when you look at this card inverted, what do you see now? He's on the wheel moving forward. He's making progress in his life. Hope you like today's spread, guys. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.